Hi, my name is Jason Lanier. We're here at the Salton Sea. Earlier today we did a model shoot, and as my crew is too familiar with, all too familiar with, if I just want to stay and shoot, I do. And so the models are sitting in the car, <laughs> and we're out here, it's pitch black, and we're shooting. Um, there's dead birds, but the Salton Sea is one of the most amazing places to shoot, and it's an amazing place to do landscapes. All I wanted to show you guys real quick, my team members know this is going to be a super quick video, but I wanted to show you guys something about the A7 II. The other A7s prob probably do it as well, but I'm shooting with the A7 II, so that's what I'm going to talk about. It's 24 megapixels. It's an awesome landscape camera, and I'm shooting the horizon, right? And I, I, there's way off in the distance. You may not even be able to see it in the camera. There's the city lights. I mean, way off in the distance. And I'll tell you, one of the most difficult things as a landscape photographer is focusing at night. Shooting landscapes at night is really difficult. You have to focus out to infinity. And then a lot of the lenses these days, they don't stop the focus. The focus ring doesn't stop. So you just have to kind of guess and hope and pray. And so normally you'll grab a video light or a flashlight. You'll try to focus on something far away. You'll try to do the best that you can. But Sony has made it exponentially easier for us to get the shots that we want. And I'm going to show you how. So we all know about focus peaking. We've discussed focus peaking in many, many videos. That's nothing new, but here's what is amazing. Normally you're trying to line that up and make sure that the horizon is, is in focus or whatever your focal point is. Here's what's so cool. You grab the focus ring and it zooms in. And now, see those lines how they got blurry, the light, lights got blurry? I'm in manual focus. I just slowly turn that focus ring and since it zoomed and magnified into it, now they're perfect in focus. So the, the, the combination between focus peaking and the uh, magnification of the lens enables me to get spot on focus. I just took a shot and this is what it looks like. Look at that. Tell me that's not amazing. Look at the focus. It's perfect. Look at that. Look at the horizon. Look how spot on perfect that focus is. So for you landscape shooters out there, Sony A7R, Sony A7 II, you know, both the, 27, uh, the 24 megapixel cameras, the A7R is actually 36. Amazing cameras, but again, you know guys, I shoot so many different types of photography, but being able to get your focus spot on at night. No, I just saw, I'm not lying. There's like an explosion over there. Was that that big? Did you hear that noise? Yeah, no, no, no. Not, that what that was? No, you guys don't understand what I just saw. It. Are you sure it wasn't lightning or thunder? Or lightning no, no, no. supposed to rain. No, it was like a. Weird. Wow, that was wild. It was like the sun was coming up. Wow. Okay, well, we're at the Salton Sea. You never know what's going to happen. Maybe it's the start of World War III. But. One thing I can tell you is, before World War III starts, that was really odd, um, shooting as a landscape photographer, getting that focus spot on is critical. It's what separates the pros from the amateurs. And Sony can help you guys do it. It's not a commercial for Sony. I am an artisan of imagery. That's not the reason I'm sharing this. I'm sharing it because I'm excited. And I'm sharing it because it just flat out works. I'm shooting with A7 II and the Sony FE 16-35 Zeiss lens. So until next time, remember, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams, and remember you only have one chance to get it right. Bye.